What's up my single chats? It's that time of the year when we talk about another battlefield game, ladies and gentlemen. The next battlefield game is happening, okay? So much so that they even tease the brand new logo. Oh, I wanna actually talk about this one. Guys, we have a video to check out. Like and share, subscribe if you're brand new and roll this. Ready Battlefield well. veterans. We just got some insane news about the next battlefield game. In 2024, DICE, the company behind Battlefield, is making some major moves. From the most realistic destruction video games I've ever seen to a return to form for the battlefield series and guys there's also a live stream coming up very soon stick around for that i'll talk about it and man this is an absolute crazy thing i posted this over on my twitter battlefield 6 or the next battlefield is confirmed actually confirmed but we're not sure whether it's going to happen in 2024 or 2025 ps5 pro has been leaked by the big homie tom henderson who initially leaked battlefield 2042 as well yeah. we all know how that happened how that how that turned out but his leaks were right gta 6 for the first time ever has been confirmed as well cannot even believe it 2024 and 2025 will be an absolute insane year for gaming though despite a shaky launch of battlefield 2042 the game is in a pretty good state right now but as things go history is repeating itself like battlefield 5 and battlefield 2 right when uh -huh. the game gets to a good state the team is going to move focus to battlefield 2042 then on to the next major installment will this year be the year that we get a I hope the game turns out to modern be battlefield shooter. <laughs> well, we'll have to wait to find out. But before we get yeah. into this video, guys, I want to let you yeah! know that in a world that mirrors our current one with tensions between the global powers at an all time high, the game could feature a variety of environments ranging from the dense urban landscapes yeah. to the vast open terrains, such as deserts, forests, and the Arctic regions. Each location would offer unique tactics. Man, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 DLC season was amazing, though. I really do miss the close quarters DLC. Uh, that was an amazing piece of DLC. And I know in the very beginning when it was teased, a lot of people were like, eh, we're not sure. It's looking like Call of Duty. But when it came out, the destruction was so good in Battlefield 3, especially on close quarters, that Sega's forgot whether it's fast paced or not and in fact a lot of people loved it because it was so fast paced so much destruction team deathmatch especially on close quarter maps was an amazing piece uh, of uh, of idea that they had that they actually pursued and they gave us uh, I, I love battlefield 3 man thoughts Multiple challenges and opportunities compelling players to adapt their strategies to different terrains and different weather conditions the arsenal would include a mix of the current day weapons and near future prototypes this could range from the the standard assault rifles and sniper rifles to the more experimental weapons. Customization okay. options would allow players to tailor their loadouts to their playstyle. Drones will likely be a significant addition to the player's toolkit. Like Battlefield 2042, recon drones could provide intelligence as well as mark targets. The combat drones could offer fire support as well as dropping in loadouts. The balance between human soldiers and automated systems would add a new strategic layer to the game, building on the squad mechanics of games like Battlefield 5 and <laughs> Battlefield 1. The next Battlefield game could introduce new features that emphasize teamwork and coordination. And here's the thing. Speaking of the new features, guys, sit down, kiss your loved ones goodbye. Because apparently, this is something we covered previously as well. But, you know, while we are talking about it, let's actually go through it as well. Like, tuck, 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 tuck. this is a brand new logo for the Frostbite engine. And, yep, this upcoming game is going to have Frostbite. They revealed that. And they also did say that next level destruction. Oh, shit. Oh, massive and progressive damage on terrain. Architecture and vehicles, which even enables altering the flow of a map or a level. Oh, though. Yeah. And oh, a lot God. of people are not willing to believe this and understandably so one if you believe it two if you don't believe it and they also revealed a new logo new era for battlefield oh, battlefield central technology criterion games and they literally confirmed like who's working right criterion games is working and if you're a fan of need for speed well, say bye to Need for Speed because they got Criterion Games working on this as well. Just like how I believe during Battlefield 2042 development, they ended up uh, acquiring Criterion. And this was posted by a dev. Now, sure, this does not mean that this logo is going to be for the next game. But it's also not for Battlefield 2042. I mean, this glitches or this distortion that's happening reminds me of the Battlefield 2042 logo. But some stickers are saying it's a new logo. And surely, it does not mention 2042. It just 
mentions Battlefield, VR Battlefield. It, it's a new logo for their the, the 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 devs, and this teases and confirms who's working on the project, Criterion Dice, and you, you know what I mean, right? And uh, I guess the time is nigh, and the last stream is happening very soon as well. Enhancing we'll get into the it. communication tools and making joint squad base objectives and sharing resources would encourage players to work together more closely than ever. Basically, uh -huh. everything that was in Battlefield 4, but better. This was for sure an aspect that lacked heavily in Battlefield 2042. So I'm hoping that the next game has way more squad base. Dog, you see that, that trailer and you compare that with what we see right now. Like this gameplay, bro. I'm crying. <laughs> Dude, they had us in the first half. They had us in the first half in that CGI trailer, man. That trailer was bus and still is bus in the game. Right now, a lot of people are saying the game is in a good state, but still, it's not as good as Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3. Some might even say Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, which is absolutely insane to think. Battlefield 1 is a good game, to be honest, but... Features. Now for the multiplayer modern, modes, you know? alongside the classic modes like Conquest and Rush, new game modes could be introduced that leverage the near-future setting. For example, a Bruh. mode focused on the electronic yeah. warfare where teams will vie to control near futuristic setting for battlefield one if yes two if not man i would prefer modern day to be honest Mod okay a little bit near futuristic would not mind but 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 like surely i don't want this futuristic where we get minus 96 percent okay that's not the future game i want okay control and disable key pieces of the tech on the battlefield. This game is likely going to be the next level as a sort of redemption for the team at DICE and Ripple Effect. They'll show the industry oh, what an it? FPS done right oh, looks like. And another note, this is also Vince Zampella's first project as the head of the Battlefield IP, so I'm expecting some very high quality there. So it seems like the next Battlefield game is shaping up to be an exciting experience for the fans of the franchise and the newcomers alike. With the involvement of Marcus Leto, the co-creator of the iconic I, I do believe in Mar Marcus Leto because he has been very very active on social media like right after Battlefield 2042 when everybody was throwing tomatoes out Bruh. everybody was throwing potatoes and everybody was just crapping on the game Marcus Leto was like okay so tell me which uh, which thing you like which game you like and what do you like in that game this game that game Battlefield 3 Battlefield 4 he was just throwing ideas out asking for feedback and uh, obviously time will tell us for sure whether he execute those ideas or not whether that feedback really meant something or not but but the fact that he's a creative director and he was that active a year and a half ago right now he's not and understandably he because he's likely working on the game and NDA and that sort of stuff he doesn't want to leak the game doesn't want to talk about it he right before the game went into development he was asking for a lot of feedback and I, I have a little bit of hope guys I, I know that's 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 crazy nowadays right hello series we can expect a rich and immersive single player campaign that will undoubtedly yeah, bring a fresh perspective single player is also confirmed and guys they are I, I actually talked about it before but January 30th oh, we're, we're having their investor call 2 p.m. Pacific which is going to be 5 p.m. Eastern. I'll be sh I will surely be live streaming on the channel. And guys, check out this video on the screen because we got 41 minutes of brand new gameplay. This is a massive video. We have a ton of gameplay in this one. Actual gameplay with trailers, of course, and a little bit of CGI, but but mostly it's gameplay. Check it out, and you're gonna love it. And I'll see you there.